So my main responsibility for the festival is the Future Projections program, which is a sort of citywide exploration of the meaning of film and the visual arts. So we partner with institutions like the Royal Ontario Museum, the Museum of Contemporary Canadian Art, um, a lot of private galleries and other institutions throughout the city. So I think the one I'm probably most proud of is this long-standing um, for friendship, really, with Terence Davies. He's uh, an exceptional British filmmaker. His last film here was a documentary of Time in the City, um, which people just loved. It was about 1950s Liverpool. He takes the same decade as the subject of this film, called The Deep Blue Sea. Um, it's a play by Terence Rattigan, very well-known post-war British playwright. It really focuses on one woman's struggle as she tries to find love in the complicated era and the privations of post-war Britain. And it stars Rachel Weisz, who is so good, and her performance is so exceptional that the film actually takes on this really magical tone, very universal tone, as we all, as we all feel maybe in complicated and difficult times that the need for love just becomes deeper and greater for us. So if I was going to identify a hidden gem, it's actually in another programmer's roster. Steve Gravestock, who does our Scandinavian films, has chosen a movie called Play by Ruben Ostlund, a Swedish film director. Play is so interesting because it basically takes these really beautiful long shots of these two groups of kids. One, one group of black kids from immigrant families, one group of like, you know, absolutely toe-headed blonde kids, you know, who couldn't be more Swedish. That's where the film's from. And they kind of, these two groups of kids really maneuver around each other. You think one group is intimidating them at one point, one group is intimidating each other at the other time. And it's all done with this just exceptionally beautiful cinematography. The guy has this crazy process. So basically he shoots one shot a day. Usually in a, in a normal movie, you'd shoot like 20, 30 shots. And, um, you know, at least, you know, so he does one shot and the kids just do it over and over and over again until he gets what he wants. And so there's this kind of sense of exhaustion in the movie as well as these kids are kind of working through this play all the time and thus the title. <laughs>